Good morning, class. So, let us discuss power fact. Fact. Power set is still under set theory. Well, obviously, because we still have the word set. Now, what is power set? Power set is a set of all subset of the given set. Huh? Yes. So, let me write it for you. So, we have a set of subset of a given set. So, that is power set. So, I'll give an example. If I have here set A with an elements of 1 and 2, the power set, this is the notation for the power set. So, we have the power set of set A in the formula 2 raised to the power of N, where N is the cardinality of the given set. Do you still remember what is cardinality? It is the number of elements in the set. So if you have set A, what is the cardinality of set A or the cardinal number of set A? Very good, it's 2. Therefore, 2 raised to the power of 2, that is 2 times 2, 4. It only means we have 4 elements in the power set. So there are 4. So, what are those four? So, let me list it for you. So, we have here the power set of set A. So, it is a set. So, meaning it should be enclosed with the braces. So, the first set, since it is the set of all subset, meaning the elements are all set. So, the first set is this one. It is a set with one as an element. It is a set. The second one is a set with 2 as an element. The third one is a set with elements 1 and 2. And the last set is an empty set. Okay. Always remember that all set has a subset of a null set. Okay. So, let's try to count. 1, 2, 3, 4. Very good. We have four elements in our power set, and these elements are also set. So this is the power set. It is a set. It is enclosed with the braces. It is a set of all subset of the given set A with an element 1, 2. So this is power set. Let me give you another example. Of another color. Okay. Um, that, let's have set B. Set B with elements 1, 2, and 3. So let's try to solve how many how many elements are in our set. So we have 2 raised to the power of the cardinality which is 3 times 2 times 2, we have 8. So, so let's try to find out the 8 elements or 8 subset of the given set. So it is a braces, so it is enclosed. I mean, it is a set, so it is enclosed with the braces. So the first one is individual. So you have 1, 2, 3. The second one is by 2 already. So 1, 2. And then you have 1, 3. And 2, 3. Do you get the pattern? The last, you have last 2 already. We have the whole set itself. 1, 2, 3. And the last one, the null. So if you're going to count, let's try to count. So we have the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and the eighth. So we have already list all the subset of the given set. Okay? So that is example number two. Let's have another example. Example number three. So if I have here set C with an elements of an all set, 
you have an empty and a so what do you think is our answer first let's try to identify how many so raised to the power 2 raised to the power of n 2 what is the cardinality of our set 3 very good 1 2 3 so still we have 8 elements or 8 subsets so the power set of set c is first it's a set individual it is a set with an empty set inside it is a set with an a as an element and then we have by two are you following okay do you get the point it's just presence of mind and distribution that so you have a null and then an a and then you will have the empty and then the a and then the whole set. There are a lot of braces here. Okay. And then the last one is our null set. So let's try to count how many. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Very good. So you have already listed all the elements and these elements are the subsets of the given set c okay do you understand now okay do you want another example okay i'll give you another example okay so we have set d if my set d is this one i'll just make it more challenging Okay, then this one. Like that. Okay. What is the power set of B? So it's 2 raised to the power of N. What is the cardinality of set D? Is it, is it 4, 3, 2? What do you think is the answer? Okay, it's 1, two three three now remember that elements are separated by comma it only means our first element is one now in this case we have embraces here so this whole thing this whole thing is equivalent to our second element and it's separated again by comma so this is this this one is our third element. So we only have three elements in set D. So our answer here is still 8. Now we need to find out the list. What are the power set of set D? So did you get my point in finding out the cardinality? You just have to be keen in observing the elements or how many. So you need to think about the comma and all. So you cannot make this... Um, let me just put this like you cannot make one and then you have this two because this one should be grouped because of the braces so that is this is equivalent to one element okay going back i know you understand it already so let's try to list sorry the first is individual so the first element is one the second element is this one so we will just write two and then you have okay that is the second element the third element is this okay now let's distribute so we have one and this okay very good and then one you distribute so you will have one and three okay and then distribute you will have two it is two and the three okay and
then the last one or the second to the last is the whole thing so you have one two okay and then the third okay and our null set there are a lot of braces here but i hope you understand but i know you are bright student so you really understand this so let's try to count one two three four five six your seven and your eight perfect so again it's individual and then you have by twos after by twos you have the whole set and then the null set so this is power set so power set okay let's have another example to make um last example for you so let's have okay f e see f na lang. so if i have f so let me write first what is f let's have one two four one two four okay so one two four let's put some so one two four okay so the power set of is two raised to the power of n well obviously i just given uh, the last example is a bit um, easier so so eight so you have the power set of f is you have it is a set so again individual and then by two so you have one two and then one four and then you have two four and you have one two four and the last one is the that one so let us count one two three four five six seven eight okay very good up your hands very good students so you have our examples going back so this is power set we have already discussed the definition we have our example we have one two three four five example for power set and i know you're excited our activities for power set to check if you really understand it but i'm sure that you understand this okay let's have our next topic